All right, next up on the card, we have Sean the Sniper Woodson taking on Julian Arosa, a.k.a. Juicy J. He was originally supposed to fight Kyle Nelson, but Kyle Nelson had to pull out. The UFC then called up the always ready, always available Julian Arosa to fill the vacancy. Julian Arosa is one of those guys who the UFC will often use in situations of emergency or as a stepping stone opportunity for budding prospects. Check and check. Sean the Sniper Woodson is legit. Both of those things are happening in this fight right here. If his body can, over the long term, maintain that cut to 145, uh, Sean the Sniper Woodson could be a legit prospect for years to come. He's smooth on the feet. He offers that nice volume striking. He's got a stiff jab, uh, lanky, nice movement on the feet. He, the dude is just straight up sick. Um, this fight is at a catch weight of 150. Tell me your thoughts on this fight. What do you think about Sean Woodson as a prospect? And do you think he's going to take out Juicy J? What do you got, me boy? Yeah, so uh, I think Sean Woodson is going to demolish this guy. Uh I mean, he's undefeated in the in MMA so far. He's looked so crisp, so clean. He's outclassed everyone he has gone versus, and I see him just keep rising to the top. Um, it does. I mean, it's kind of crazy that. Uh, I mean, props to uh, his opponent though, um, Erosa. Like he's taken this fight uh, when. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, dropped out. Kyle, Kyle Nelson. Nelson. Yeah, Kyle mm -hmm. Nelson dropped out. So you got uh, uh, Julian now. And, dude, I don't think he's ready for the sniper, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I mean, Julian Arosa, he's been in and out of the UFC. Um, his most recent stint, he had a th three straight uh, Ls. I mean, I know he did get a, a win in Cage Sports 60 a couple months ago. Um, so he's coming in with a little bit of momentum, I guess. But he's taking on Sean Woodson, who is just tough as nails. Uh, just absolutely dismantled a tough Kyle Bokniak in that last fight. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be our meat locker. Of course, meat boys, uh, we are undefeated with our meat lockers. It's a slow marinate. Nothing too, too sexy, but we're just trying to uh, add to the bank account every single week. For this fight specifically, we're throwing all $174.61 on Sean the Sniper Woodson. Uh, it's going to profit $39.68 at minus 440. So, Sean the Sniper Woodson, this is the lock of all locks. If there's ever been a meat locker... Um, it's definitely this one. Any last thoughts on this? Uh, how do you think he gets the job done, actually? Me, boy, is he going to finish uh, Juicy J in there? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a finish uh, second round TKO. Um, I don't think this guy is ready for the sniper. Uh, I think he's just going to put on that pressure and just keep tagging him up. Just all clean shots until he drops. <laughs> tagging him up clean shots till he drops 90 percent topology uh think that woodson's gonna get it done with the majority uh agreeing with you ko or tko so that's the meat locker for the week um it's the lock of all locks sean the sniper woodson take it to the grill get the bill